Have you ever wanted to learn about simulations, particles, and physics in Blender, but you didn't know where to start and you were too overwhelmed by all of the options? Well, don't worry, we've all been there, and that's what this course here is for. With over 36 hours of content, we're going to go over every single setting for simulations, physics, and particles, and not only that, we're going to create some awesome practical scenes and animations. We're going to have a lot of fun. Now, who am I? My name is Alex Cordobard, and for the last 14 or so years, I've been doing and teaching Blender to tens of thousands of people. I have several bestsellers right here on Udemy and over 70,000 students. In the first section, we'll learn all about rigid body physics, from all their settings and options, how to use these settings practically, learning all the rigid body constraints, to creating some practical animations and scenes using what we learned. In section two, it's all about cloth simulation. Again, we will learn every single setting that has to do with cloth, from internal springs to cloth pressure and everything in between. At the end of this section, we will create some awesome animations and scenes using everything that we learned, from creating stage curtains, clothes on a character, and more. Section 3, we learn all about the particle systems. Imagine knowing and understanding every single option in the emitter and hair particle system. We'll learn about emission particles, voids, keyed particles, how to use the hair particles, and everything in between. By the end of this section, you'll be confident with particles and we'll have created things such as a Sandman animation, a swarm of bees animation, hair animations, and much more. Force fields. So many force fields, so little time. At least that's what you may have said before this course. Get ready to learn every single force field and all their settings. Then we will use them in a practical way to create things such as flying butterflies, wind blowing snow, use it to control hair, and much more. Now, soft bodies can sometimes be neglected and not used. However, they are very powerful. Here in this section, we're gonna master all the settings and options for soft bodies and learn how to use them for things such as creating jello or jiggle on characters. Now, let me tell you, dynamic paint is powerful. We're gonna learn all about dynamic paint, from using it to create ripple effects and waves, creating footsteps in the ground, to creating a raindrop effect with splashes and puddles. Fire and smoke, we can't forget about the smoke. This section will teach you everything about the fire and smoke simulation so that you can create some awesome scenes. Not only will we learn all the settings and what they do, but we'll be creating some awesome scenes such as a campfire animation, a car explosion scene, and a tornado animation, all using the fire and smoke simulation. Lastly, we have liquid. This section will teach you everything about the liquid simulation and how to use all the settings within it. By the end, we will have created some awesome animations such as hot chocolate being poured and a waterfall animation. As you can see, this course not only goes over every single setting for all of these, but how to use them practically and actually use them to create some awesome scenes and animations. By the end of this course, you will know everything about simulations, physics, and particles, and be able to use them in any way in your scenes and projects. So with that, get the course. I'll see you there. Ciao for now. Au revoir.